Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Okay. The other day, when I posted my video, my last video, we didn't have a single flake of snow on the ground. In February in Alaska. Yeah, right. Anyway, I show you, I show you. We got the snow. It came to blizzard last night. 30 knots. Big old dump. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. One 24 hour period. And we go to no snow to berms. Uh, we got to snow. And my truck over there all covered with snow. Yeah. But I got us mostly plowed out. I gotta go up and light off my little snow blower on the porch. Yeah. Get her all cleaned up. Fred! Oh, Fred! You got every reason, Fred, to be a one eyed, pissed off porch weather frog. You're wearing your crown. You're wearing your frown. Oh, Fred. He's feeling really down. It's got this tilt assist thing on it. You can see right there, that's what I had to do. Right there, I had to get the shift rod lined up with that. Oh, where's my light? Yeah. So right there, I had to get that shift rod, make sure it was turned the right way and going into the shift link there. So that's why I had to drop her back down. But I'm going to have to do something with that... Uh, this thing, it's all tight and toy. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to be doing here is I bolted that starter back on 
with three bolts and I've got a set of mini vice grips hooked right here so I can clip my hot to that and then I'll just ground it and I'm going to make sure that the starter engages properly and since we got it in here with a lower unit on it now I'll see if it pees so we pump that up pull that two or three times uh, let's see give it just a little throttle I guess maybe right that's probably too much right there get my power pack Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn on the sucker fan. It's gonna be noisy. It ain't happening. We got the sucker fan. Yeah. Yeah. See what get. See what get. Get again. Get again. sound too right sound like it hung up I'm gonna try it again
Okay, so I dropped the lower unit again. Then I took the nut off on the uh, this thing that holds the engine up in the tilt up position. After I took that nut off the other side, I hammered it out a little bit, got some lube in there. Now I'm just working it back and forth with a set of vice grips on this handle. And uh, it's loosening up slowly. So I'll sit here and work it. Um, boy, I'm beginning to worry that the uh, that the shift rod length no, that can't be. I'm thinking the shift rod link might be the same and the shaft link different. But that wouldn't make sense. So it's a it's a head scratcher. See nothing plugged on this or anything. It all looks in good shape. That should fit right up into the pump it or to the on these 40s, they don't have a water pickup tube. They have a cast tube. And this is all flexible, pliable, good. The impeller looks pretty darn good. I'm not sure what our issue is. That's all. So I might have to put a drill or something on this shaft, put it in a bucket of water, and spin it over and see if I can put a copper tube in here and see if I can get any lift at all out of it. I might end up doing that. I'm not sure. But I'm going to do a couple other things. I'm going to restab this thing and see how it feels. Sometimes things are not as they seem. This appears to be one of them times. <laughs> He's being a pickle. A little bitty pickle. But, see, we're in neutral right now. I can spin a shaft free both ways. I go down, she locks in the reverse. Up one. Neutral again. Spins it both ways. And we're still in neutral. Did I feel it fixed up? No, nope, I'm in neutral. What's going on there? What's going on? Try something else. I'll be right back. I think what I'm going to do is take the recoil off, take the plugs out. Spin it over with the half inch and see what this prop shaft does. That is reverse. I went well back into reverse. According to this, you hear that? So that tells me that shaft ain't long enough. It's amazing the shift rod fits, but when I turn that prop like that, Keep in mind there's no spark plug so there's no compression. 
this flywheel should turn over. That's what I'm getting. And that's in reverse. So let me see if I can get it in forward. Rod boat. Yeah. Now, just curious. Now I'm right in forward. <laughs> See, nothing from the shaft. Yeah. That shaft ain't engaging. That's the wrong size drive shaft. Is bizarre because I know it came off in the 90s. Forty Johnson. So I'm gonna have to go out and find another one. Well, forty. Forty. I think that's the one that'll fit it right there. That appears to be the exact same motor. Then I've got another, I think that's a 50. It's got a 55 bonnet laid over it. There's a 50. There's a 40 in there. The problem is the snow I think I have another 40 lower already off, actually. But it's buried in that white stuff. But I think I got a 40 lower already off. The good news, it's supposed to warm up to 45 and rain here in a couple of days. Oh boy. It's name. That tune. I was born one morning. It was drizzling rain. Fighting and trouble are my middle name. I was born one morning. It was drizzling rain. Fighting and trouble are my middle name. Named at Doom. Well now, this is a little bit of a uh, lease that I can remember. This is kind of a new one on me, but uh, leave it to OMC. Um, okay, so the situation is I got a lower unit and I shove it up into the power head and the shift rod the long shift rod that runs all the way up and connects beneath the lower carb fits perfectly the exact perfect length but that I can tell the drive shaft is too short so OMC made a 40 horse that share the same length shift rods but have different length drive shafts. Um, I went and looked in my parts breakdown for the 94 and one thing jumped out real quick at me which was that the impeller for a 94 has three fins this one has five, this lower unit. Best I can tell is they might have changed it around 88, 89 from a five blade impeller to a um, three blade impeller. So, Cramden, 
Hell! <laughs> I think this is the first time I've come across this where the shift rods line up but the drive shafts are different lengths but it appears unless I'm missing something that's what's going on here so any of you OMC guys 40 horsepower 45 48 50 so I think I have another lower unit already taken off out there um, but it appears to be buried in the snow the good news is I've got a couple other ones out there um, so hopefully one of those will be the right length drive shaft um, so um, that's about all I can do with this one right now the weather's supposed to get warm here in the next couple days up to about 47 and it's supposed to rain so hopefully it'll melt off that snow and I can get out there and find that other lower unit if not I'm gonna have to do a little research on them other ones I got out there and see if one of them will fit this but I did get some other things done on it I got the transom clamps are unfroze now the uh, tilt hold it in the tilt up position lever I got that all loosened and lubed and uh, but I gotta get this lower unit straightened out so it's getting late I'm getting frustrated aggravated agitated so I think I'm gonna call that a wrap on this one and as always that's one more hack from Kodiak thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host Cody Bass